Hello everyone, I'm Caleb, Ernie's son up in D.C. Unfortunately, I cannot be there today to help celebrate, but Chrissy was nice enough to let me send in this video, and uh, I promised her I wouldn't take a long time. But uh, then she told me I could take as much time as I want, so I brought this speech in and thought I would read it to you. Just kidding, it's not that long. So, in writing this, uh, this speech and preparing what I was going to say, I thought I would try to make it funny, but then I remembered that Parker jokes are only funny to the person telling them. And besides, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, you roasted Dad a couple years ago already. So, I thought, well, um, what kind of interesting things can I tell his work family they may not already know? But, um, as everyone already knows, my dad's a pretty transparent guy. He always tells the truth, even when it hurts. At home, uh, we call that brutal honesty. In all seriousness, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being such a great second family for my dad. You really made Gulfstream more than just a paycheck for him. Speaking of Gulfstream, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the company and its leadership for providing my dad with the security and income to provide a great life uh, for our family. Thank you. But truly, my dad deserves all of my gratitude and appreciation. Dad, thank you for giving me such a great childhood. Thank you for sacrificing all of these years, working the night shifts, the overtime, putting aside your dreams to provide for our family. My dad has always taught my sisters and I to be good people, to forgive, to love, to dream. Loyalty, honesty, integrity, persistence, to be humble. But more importantly, my dad practices what he preaches. Dad, you are the example that I live up to, or try to live up to. And I thank you. I love you, Dad. Have a good day.